Hello crafters, my name is JaxCraft28 and we're gonna waste no time at all. Um we're gonna get right into the right into the trailer of Steven Universe movie. Let's go. Aw, and Steve actually has a neck. Exactly like this can never change. Agreed. His voice is older. Uh oh. What the heck? Who is that? Everything was perfect. Why did everything have to change? Exactly. I want my happily ever after back. <laughs> Who the heck is this? What the heck is this? You know, like the animals, the plants, the insects, you know, people. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> That's enough! It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm shocked right now. We have a date, September 2nd. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, that was the movie, everyone. So, I am going to be reviewing this. Okay, there was a lot to glean through through this trailer, so bear with me. Um, it looks to be as if Amethyst and Steven are rebuilding a society on Homeworld or fixing it or whatever. As they're on a um, warp gem, a home homeworld warp gem, and they're just fixing society and building the cities. And right here, Steven is explaining about how we're saving the planets and how he has to go back home. And we see two Aqua War Marines standing in the middle. We see a pair dot. I have no idea what the other gems are, but that could be a topaz. Right here, we see um, the lava. Or whatever it is, like the that's killing the, the a liquid that's killing the plants and animals and humans on Earth. And as you can see, Stephen is right above it. He's right above the lava or the liquid, and he's in deep trouble. He's ripped up. He's I don't know what he's gonna do. Then we see this figure, this figure that's about like to say no or something, as like Stephen's trying to convince her. So Stephen and the gems are laying on the grass here. And everything is all fine and dandy. Everything is good. He says he wishes things could stay like this forever. Pearl says, agreed. And then, all of a sudden, wouldn't you know it, the day is ruined by yet another problem. A mysterious figure emerges from nowhere and makes some kind of horn. This figure looks really mad about, like, the society being dismantled or the Empire being dismantled or she could be from another world. And, as you can see, she has incredible strength and agility as she just tosses Steven up into the air. As she tosses Steven up in the air, she tries to finish him off. Right here we see a gem, a gem drill that looks similar to the ones on the kindergarten. She implants a sort of device that's, that's basically kind of like that device from the Superman movie where, I forget his name, um, but but anyway, he just, they just put the device in and the gravity goes all up, but this time it's destroying the Earth. And since Bismuth, Lapis, and Peridot are in the same area here that Amethyst and Steven were, I'm guessing this was when they were building the society before everything went to crap. But here they form Alexandrite. They form Alexandrite in the middle of the battle. So this is going to be pretty good. Then we see Steven and Connie hug after being reunited once again. And I have no idea what this gem means. Upside down heart, as in maybe a symbolism of not loving the world or something. I have no idea. Some people speculate that it's Pink Diamond or something of Pink Diamond. That's impossible because Pink Diamond is gone. We see Steven so desperately try to grab the drill and bring it away from the earth. 
so it cannot cause any more destruction. Then we see when all else fails that the mysterious gem starts to attack Garnet and the gems. As Garnet tries to fight back and Steven is not looking so good. He's looking t torn up. His eyes are all, all black. Maybe, I don't know what, but maybe the death liquid probably affected him somehow. I have no idea. And right, he, right here we see him try to climb up the drill of the gem. Or the gem drill. But then he get he's fallen down the top of the drill in failure to climb up it. I believe this is a result to him trying to talk to her and then she doesn't agree and then he slides off because she pushes him off. Ooh, right here it looks like the gems are in a little bit of a bind here. Like she's wrapping him up with one of her limbs. Oh, wait, her arms here. You see a hand right here. And they look like they're in trouble. And Steven and Amethyst are reunited once again after Homeworld. Because, as you can see, Steven doesn't have any tears on him. This is before everything happened. And Steven is ticked off. He has had enough of this. And Steven explains after he figures out what her motive is or not. I have no idea. He explains that she's come here to kill him. Maybe she's ticked off with the rebellion being dismantled. Not the rebellion, but the empire being dismantled. Then I have no idea what Greg and Steven are doing right here. They're, they seem to be fighting back with their guitars somehow. I have no idea. And then we see Connie kissing Steven before this all happens because there's no tears or anything. The sky is not gray. Like, she's happy he's back. Everything is all well and dandy. Or so they think. And as you can see right here, Pearl and Amethyst are forming some kind of fusion in the air. I guess that's, that's when they fall down right there. And also, I believe Steven has some kind of power now because he's all in tatters here and there, but he's in the air, he's doing something, I have no idea. Like maybe he'll get a new power, I have no idea. And also right here, it seems like everything is all nice and dandy with the gems, the mysterious villain is defeated and everything is fine. But I don't know, maybe that's right before she attacks right before she attacks steven and the gems well that concludes it for the steven universe review see you guys next time bye